And right now we're going to go back in time into Harness Racing's archives and check out one of the great races from the past, which you may remember. 29 and 1, second quarter, racing to the back side. Cash has set, moves up on the outside fifth. JJ citation is six. Tucson head over to the outside, trailing the field, Tavern Low Bell. Four in, four out, down the back side they go. Barberry Spur at the rail, challenging on the outside. Amity Chef now second. The two first heat winners are stride for stride. Three quarters, one. 25 and 2, 28 and 3, backside, it's Barberry Spur, Amity Chef second, Souffle third, Cash Asset last at the rail, less than an eighth of a mile to go, Barberry Spur at the rail, the outside, Amity Chef coming on, but it's Barberry Spur winning the Little Brown Jug! Well, as you can see, our gal Heather is back with us. And we now stay here at Harris Jesse for race eight on Monday. It was a pace for Phillies and Mares with a purse of eighteen thousand bucks. Wild Ride Hanover, but Double D Dan Dubay left the gate to six to five chalk, got away a third, then quarter pole to the top, and took them all the rest of the way, winning by a measured length in one fifty three and two. Taking a look at a race on Sunday, we've got non winners of twenty two thousand five hundred dollars last five starts. The purse is twenty seven thousand dollars. Sadie Soli Solo is is the favorite, won a huge mile last time out. Tyber Hanover looking for three wins in a row, and Digital VTAM trained by Pat the Chance. And it was Sadie, Sadie Soloist, a winning. Yeah, I know exactly. We have first up effort in 152 with Rainsman George Napolitano Jr. on the bike. Tyber Hanover, who came from way back to take second, and third was Digital VTAM. Thank you, darling. And when we come back, we the much anticipated miles that were contested in the finale, the big closing day card at the Red Mile. Do not stray too far. You want to be here for that. Well said. Through three quarters in 122 and two. Every day is a new experience at Mohegan Sun at Pocono Downs with a state-of-the-art casino floor, tantalizing new restaurants, high-energy nightlife, exciting new shopping venues, and more. It's all here and all for you. It's everything you're looking for. Live evening harness racing is back. Experience the thrill every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6.30 p.m. and Saturdays at 1 p.m. Don't miss a moment. Now through November 21st. Welcome to our world. Hi, and welcome back. And as promised, because I never lie, not unless it's convenient, of course, <laughs> and we're going to the Red Mile, their finale card. It was a biggie. And the first heat, well, actually, it wasn't the first heat. It was the first Tattersall's pace for the best three-year-old pacers in the land. And with that, here's Heather. Um, speaking of lying, do I look fat in this? Not at all, babe. Okay, there you go. <laughs> that was a convenient lie. All right, we've gotten here Vintage Master, the better's choice. He's made $1.2 million this year, and he's a Western card. Starts for the Joe Siegman stable, and then Double Shot of Scotch is a Pennsylvania Sire Stakes champion. And Vintage Master has him stacked up on the lead. Dubay trying to keep him alert on the front end with whip tap urging. Pressure coming on the outside from Annie's Western card, and Vintage Master quickens on the inside. Annie's Western card on the outside, and these two are now heads apart, coming to the three-quarter marker. Carnivore third. School Kids launches a menacing move from the back of the pack on the far outside. Three quarters in 124 flat, and they come to the top of the stretch. Vintage Master under pressure. Annie's Western card on the outside. Carnivore trapped in, angling out his double shot of scotch. School Kids on the far outside. Vintage Master fighting him off, though, so far. Double shot of scotch on the outside. Clear vision overloaded with no room. It's Vintage Master almost there. Double shot of Scott second. Vintage Master. Vintage Master, driven by Danny Dubay and trained by Jimmy Tactor, went from wire to wire and won 51 and 2. He was pressured by Annie's Western card, but Vintage Master stayed tough. Double shot of Scotch was second, and Clear Vision ended up taking third. It's funny, double scotch, double thing of scotch and clear vision again. Double shot of scotch and the, clear vision, there yeah. There again, yeah. okay. In the second division, the division leader, well said, was well meant. The prohibitive favorite at one to nine. The rest were all double digit space invaders and not likely to invade well said space, according to the betting public down in Kentucky. So let's see what happened in that one. 
If I Can Dream is under early. Tietrich urging on the outside and dropping in is Diamond Stickpin who settles fourth. Well said is in behind him from fifth. Dial or no dial is two lengths further back on the opening turn. Sheer Desire came away second last. Vertical Horizon is the trailer. If I Can Dream hustled up to the lead. If I Can Dream kicks around chasing racing and he's a length and a half in front. Hypnotic Blue Chip is racing in third. 27 and 1 for the opening quarter. Diamond Stickpin is gap slightly fourth as they hit the back stretch and well said patiently waiting in fifth from the back of the pack vertical horizon flushing out dial or no dial who wants to follow well said and well said tips to the outside for ron pierce from the fifth spot just taking his time floating up there first over and further back is sheer desire who is the trailer so they move toward the half if i can dream leads the way and well said is coming on on the outside and he is sprinting for pierce well said in high gear and goes right around him the half and 55 and one and well said with an explosive kick to the lead is now two lengths in front. If I Can Dream is showing the whip to keep pace there in second. Dial or no dial advances third. Chase and Racing has dropped back fourth. Vertical Horizon now first over fifth. Then Sheer Desire. Hypnotic Blue Chip is stuck behind a tiring rival. And Diamond Stick Pin trails the field. Well said. Through three quarters in 122 and two. And they come to the top of the stretch. And Well Said leads the way. If I Can Dream on the inside of second. Dial or no dial alongside him. And Well Said being chased home. Dial or no dial is coming to him on the outside. Well said under pressure. Dial or no dial on the outside. Up the rail if I can dream. Well said a short lead. Dial or no dial. Sheer desire on the outside. They're coming down to the finish. A wild scramble if I can dream. This was an incredibly weird heat. If I can dream has been a hard knocker all year and the, uh, the only other millionaire in the race beside Well said went right to the front. Well said dropped in fifth. Got a seat and then came up as he normally does. Pierce drove him right up, took the lead no problem. When they turned home, he looked like a cinch. And in fact, Timmy Teacher said at the end, if I could dream, was just sort of there for a second until he caved. It was really weird. Yeah. If I could dream, came up along the inside and won in the passing lane. Dial or no dial, your favorite horse in college, I yes. remember. Okay. <laughs> at 17 to 1 for Sears, got second. And sheer desire at 59 to 1 with Dave Pallone is not alone, was third. Well said was a well-beaten fourth. Tim, everybody expected Well Said to just dominate this field, but that wasn't the case. Did you know that Well Said maybe didn't have his A game at some point in the mile? Well, top of the lane when uh, Ronnie kind of called on him, usually that horse is just push button and he just he can open up four or five so quick. And you know he didn't get away from me, so I thought I still had a shot. And my horse kept digging, and you know uh, luckily we got up the rail and got him beat. Now also on the card, okay. the $150,000. Allerage final, or Allerage, or you say tomato, I say tomato. <laughs> and it was an amazing race. The top free for allers in the world were there. Shark Gesture was a slight 7 to 5 favorite over Mr. Big, who was 9 to 5, but a lot of other great horses in there. Artificial, Shadow Play, yada yada, won the West. Here's the call. Shark Gesture looking to overpower the field on the front end. Mr. Big is second and starts to angle from that spot. From the back of the pack, beginning to rally on on the outside. Southwestern Dream. Shadow Play is there between horses. It's Shark Gesture. Southwestern Dream is flying on the outside. Mr. Big from between them. Mr. Big to the lead. Southwestern Dream on the outside. Won the West charging late. Very tight. Wow, what an incredible finish. Three little noses apart. Mr. Big's proboscis got there first in 149 and 2. Just ahead of, or just a nose in front of, 66 to 1 shot, Southwestern Dream and John Campbell, and yet another nose in front of 10 to 1 shot, won the West, is really for real, who came literally from the men's room, closed like a freight train, and got third. And that's going to do it for us. We're playing out a show. We'd like to go on a little longer, but we don't have any more show to work with. So for Heather Moffat, I'm Steve Ross, reminding you if you're at the track and you're standing next to somebody rooting for a horse, do not yell, you got it. It's the kiss of death. Till next week, bye bye.